So, tomorrow is a kind of a big day. It's the Samsung's big event for the new Galaxy S8 and the new Galaxy S8 Plus. I am super excited, but I still have to go to school, so I pretty much don't have the chance to see the live unpacked event. But I would definitely watch it after I come back from school, so yeah, that would be really excited. I am super excited about that. I have seen the rumors of Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus since the release of the Note 7, since the explosion of Note 7. So it was really, really a highly anticipated smartphone, and people just, and I really hope that Samsung can just like change the phone industries again because it is 10 years since the iPhone, the first generation iPhone, which changed our smartphone industry forever. I hope the Samsung can do it again and change our phone industries again in year 2017. So that's the big thing is coming up. So tomorrow it's a lucky day also. Oh, by the way, here's an update on the OnePlus new phone. Did, did anyone see the OnePlus 3T, the new Midnight Black Limited Edition? It is super, super awesome, let me tell you. I just take a look at it. It really looks gorgeous, I mean. It's like pure black colors at the back, and it's really, really clean, really, really beautiful, really, really great. I mean, I love it. I really do. I love the OnePlus 3T, the midnight black version with 128GB. The OnePlus 3T is a really powerful phone. It has an 821 Snapdragon processor running at 2.35GHz. It has 6 gigs of RAM, and it's got a great AMOLED display, it's got a great camera at a at an affordable price, obviously. It's got like flagship specs, but at an, not a flagship price. So that is really, really awesome. I love, I love it, and OnePlus is a Chinese brand, and but they really did a great job in the international market, I mean. They really did a better job, actually, in the international market than in the Chinese market. So, yeah, the OnePlus is one of my favorite Chinese technology companies. And their Midnight Black is kind of a cool, I really love it. I think it's probably, like, one of the most beautiful phones I've ever seen for a very long time. Look just how black it is. It's awesome. Just go online, go to the OnePlus website, and you can see the OnePlus 3T in black. So that is an update on the OnePlus side. Also, let's back to the Apple. I'm still waiting for my new iPad, which should be arrived tomorrow. The case has been arrived today, but the machine is not yet there. It's coming from China, so it takes a while. So the case is already delivered today, but the iPad should be delivered at the end of tomorrow, so maybe I can do an unboxing video tomorrow to show you the new iPad. That's pretty excited. And I decided not to get the iPhone 7 Pro Red because I have the matte black iPhone 7 Plus already, so getting up and I go to the Apple Store and take a look at the Pro Red. Uh, the color is just it's stunning, I mean, it's so beautiful, but it's really not attractive as the matte black, so yeah, I mean, I just won't get it. It's not like a really, really impressive innovation, so yeah, it's there. If you want to get it, sure, do get it. It also helping building a really an AIDS free yeah, ace free generation, help deliver in ace free generation because Apple will contribute to every purchase to contribute to the global fund to support the HIV and AIDS program. So that is really, really good. I really love Apple do these kind of product red to helping other people. So this is pretty, pretty exciting. I mean, yeah. And let's take a look at the Samsung, we talked about that, the LG, LG, let's take a talk about LG a little bit. 
the LG J6 is has been released for a while and should be on the market in April. Yeah, should be released in US, Canada in April. But I wholly recommend everyone to wait to see tomorrow's Galaxy S8 because if you want to buy a smartphone, just hold, hold, hold. Take a look at the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. I guarantee it will be something that is special because in the advertisement that DCM said, it shows that it was a smartphone. But now they said, so to unbox the new smartphone. So yeah, so I guess there will be some pretty big design changes and I don't know. Anything could be happened. We see a lot of rumors online. You see a lot of YouTube videos about a Samsung new smartphone. And yeah, but everything is only valid and only statement and rumors are only valid after you see tomorrow's event. So just prepare for that. That is great. And I'm thinking about actually starting to do some vlog actually. I don't know like... I really want to do some really high quality vlog because these kind of videos just like doing some testing. I really want to see how the YouTube platform works. I really want to take a look at how things work just to make sure it's working properly and then I'm gonna spend some time on creating some great vlog. I mean it will involve like a lot of editing, a lot of cameras, these kind of stuff. So yeah, so be prepared. It will I'm pretty sure that I will start doing vlog very, very soon. I mean in the next month I guess. Starting next month probably. Not this month. So Tomorrow, CN's a big event. The day after tomorrow, it's decision day for me, pretty much. It's whether I got accepted or not declined by the University of California, Berkeley. Decision day, I would call it. Most likely, declined, for sure. I'm pretty sure about that. So, yeah. And, yeah. So, that's it. Some updates for today. I guess there's nothing special happened in the school today and yeah so that's it thank you very much and have a great day everyone bye